Welcome to Friesen Electric's video tutorial, connecting a variable speed motor for operation with a remote keypad. We'll be using a three-phase 240 volt one-third horsepower motor, an SCM series variable speed drive, a simple toggle switch, and the SCM series remote keypad kit. The first step will be to connect all of our components to the variable speed drive. We'll start by connecting the three motor leads to the bottom part of the drive to the connectors labeled U, V, and W. Now we'll connect our toggle switch. Connect one side to pin one. And the other side to pin 11. We'll now connect the four leads off of the remote keypad kit. The green wire goes to pin two. The white wire goes alongside the toggle switch in pin 11. The red wire goes to 13E. <coughs> And the black wire goes to 13B. Good. All we need to do now is connect power to the L1 and L2 connectors on the top of the drive. Now be sure not to connect power to the B negative or B positive connector, so that'll blow the drive and it won't be covered under warranty. Now that our circuit is completely assembled, we can supply circuit or power to our circuit. It doesn't turn on, on automatically because we need to program our drive. To access the programming features on, or the programming menu, we'll press mode. We'll enter the password by scrolling up to 225. and press in mode again. Now when it says P01 you know you you know you've entered the password incorrectly and we can scroll to a different parameter. We're going to adjust the parameter 12 to the value 21, parameter 14 to the value 2, and parameter 13 uh, 11 to the value 13. So to set parameter 11, we'll press mode and we'll press up until we see 11, press mode again, and press up until we see 13. Good. Now we can press mode, press up. This is setting parameter 12 to the value 21. We press up until we see 21, and we press mode again. Then we press mode again, press up until we see 14. There is no parameter 13. Press mode and press up and DC2. Press mode again and the remote keypad is configured. We could take our remote keypad now and press the green button 
the drive will start spinning. Now it'll spit up to the default speed because I have the factory default set on the drive to 20. So it's one third the, the speed of the drive. If we want to go all the way up to 60 hertz, we can press up. If we want to stop the drive, we can press stop. Start it again, we press the green button. And it'll spin back up to the last speed that the drive was at, which is 60 hertz. Good. And we can decrease the speed. Now we'll stop the drive. Thank you for watching our tutorial. If you would like more information on how these drives work, please ask us at our website, Friesen.com.